Uh, Sequence Z, anything but with Kumari Silva, the beautiful house at Horton Place here with Aruma Vichivardana. We spoke to Aruma, the, the artist, uh, the painter, the creator. We spoke to Aruma about Aruma, the book, the monograph, and now we talk to her about her work as a textile designer and lecturer and her initiative to empower women interested in having a career in art. You look as spectacular as one of your paintings. Beautiful. Thank you, thank you. We keep trying. I made her change her clothes. <laughs> Look at the shoes. Uh, yeah. I, I was forced to change my shoes, my glasses. Glasses, jewelry, uh, shoes, everything. Now, what to do? you, the textile designer and lecturer, London and Paris, Paris and London, you worked with your clients, where you said Laurent, where Jean Paul Gaultier, where Givenchy, uh, where Cardin and Cacharel. Now, you were very young at that time, many yeah, years ago. Early 20s. So. What was that encounter like, them buying your, 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 your stuff, so to say? It was quite mind-blowing, I have to say. And um, Kardan actually at one point said, congratulations. And I thought, I'm not even hearing this. He's not generous with his No, compliment. he's very it's difficult. Very, very, he's very, very, very difficult. Mm. Uh, Givenchy is gentler, or is gentler. They're both not here now anymore, I guess. But, um, but, but both incredibly charming. And it was wonderful to be inside their ateliers because, of course, we only didn't see these amazing clothes yes. or sunglasses, whatever. They're very, very, very work spaces. They are wearing white coats. Why? Like surgeons? Like surgeons, because you're handling very, very fine materials and working with very fine products. And uh, that, that's what, you, you know, that's, it's like the word monograph. People ask me, why monograph? That's the word for an art book. That is how you design in Paris, you know, the couture world. They wear a white coat over their suits, which might be very smart. And that's how they work. That's workspace. So I was very blessed to see the workspace. Well, so have you seen any of your designs in their creations, subsequent creations? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also some somebody else that I worked with, a London designer who was very, very hot at the time, which is 1970s. Um, it ended up on the cover of Vogue, my work. Photographed by David Bailey, who you might have heard of. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. You so, spoke of... Knowing Vivian, ben Vivian Westwood when she was not the star she used to be. Yeah, when she first had a shop, she had a shop called Seditionaries. And it was the mm. punk time, mm. you know, and it was just on the bend of the King's Road. And a friend that was sharing a flat with me, uh, our house actually, was designing her first shop. He was an interior designer. And so she used to hang out with us and come to a party. And Malcolm McLaren and, uh, you know, Sex Pistols, The Clash, we would all hang out together. Joe Strummer was a great friend. We were at art college together. You know, the art and the music scene and the design scene all mixed very closely. It was much smaller London. So we were all interacting. I never met Sid Vicious, but... Well. <laughs> so are you happy with all these colorful stories? Are you happy living now in Colombo, Sri Lanka, in Horton Place with the traffic we hear in the background? <laughs> I'm not happy with the traffic and uh, getting worse and worse and, and worse. Getting, getting worse and worse and it really does um, impact on one's creativity sometimes and one's concentration uh, but you know wherever I live um, I make my creative life and that is inside me whether I'm out in a field and just looking at something or watching the light through the leaves or whether I'm painting in London or designing in, in Sri Lanka or wherever I am, the art is here. So that sustains. Now, your initiative to mentor women who are interested in having a career in art, uh, tell me. Well, you know, I don't know if you know, but I, I've lectured uh, since my 30s. I lectured in England for 15 years in several of the art colleges, including um, at Central St. Martins. And so it's um, an aspect, never full time, always part time. And that's partly something that the English art colleges have really done is to have full time designers or artists coming and doing part time work so that they actually share the everyday life of a designer or an artist rather than the full timers who get stuck in, mm, you know, in a group. Yeah, yeah mm. well, they are teachers, you know, but to have active professionals. So I've done, I've done that, and then when I moved back here, I did uh, teach at the Academy of Design in the early days when it was only three little rooms and, I don't know, 30 students or something. 
And then also um, here, I had art classes at one point, even twice a week, and trips out. So why uh, mentoring, anymore? why not? Because you know, uh, in life, you only have one energy. And yeah. as you grow older, that energy is contracted. And um, so no, so no dinner parties, not much socializing, no uh, art classes, because I need my energy for my work, my painting. You focus now entirely on your painting. Yeah, I mean, I, I love partying and I love teaching and I love doing all these things. But if I do that, then it takes the energy from the painting. Sure it does. No choice, no choice. That's part of aging. So you pick and choose the aspiring women artists or do they come to you? How does no, that people happen? People have usually come to me and asked. And of course, in the last um, 10 years almost now, I've stopped teaching. Also, after my father died, we had lots of other things that we had to do for him and my mother. And so um, I did stop. But I now feel the need to deal with the fact that um, even uh, the Tate, the Met, MoMA are all scrambling to get uh, women artists in because over the last centuries, can you think of a Renaissance female artist? Can you think of an impressionist? Why? Uh, Why? Women have been, uh, as per usual, I mean, where have the women, doctors, whatever. I mean, we could do it and they were doing it. If you look her up, there's Artemisia Gentilisci, a uh, Renaissance painter who's now being fated, you know, and now a lot of Gwen John, a lot of the artists who are somebody's wife or somebody's daughter or somebody's sister or something are now being recognized. And, you know, okay, we've all heard of Frida Kahlo, but there are so many other women artists. But certainly, I mean, I don't want to mention figures, but it's allowed between 20 and 30 percent of Venice Biennale as well, okay, of women artists. So I feel time's up, me too, all this. It's time that we did something. I don't know quite what the form of this will be, but um, already it started happening um, you know, over the last few months. I've been mentoring one, um, somebody who interned for me some time ago, and she had her first debut exhibition three days before I the launch. Her stuff. I loved her stuff. The, yeah. The kind of thing with the, yes, yes. Exactly. I, I loved her stuff. Yeah. yeah. So we worked on that very, unusual, very but, yeah. closely, and she uh, she she's, me. she, you know, she's even written that I'm brutally, mm. brutally something. Brutal. How, how nasty can Brutally you be? Brutally honesty. How, how, how Very nasty, nasty are you? Um, you know, when I was lecturing in England, uh, it was a maximum of 11 hours a week. Okay. And I had, you know, quite a few hundred students. So there was no time to say, oh, putta, this is great. I had to go to the problem because I only had two minutes with each person. So it's a matter of kind of seeking the problem, going to it and saying, hey, so uh, no that's niceties. my training. There's no time for niceties. You always sign off as Anoma. You never used your your high powered uh, lineage name of Pichay Bardana, nor your name by marriage. Uh, you're just Anoma, not even W. Why? Why? Because um, I really want people to just concentrate on the art as opposed to who I was married to, where I've come from. Uh, and of course, it comes up. And if it does, then it's fine. But some do, some don't. Sorry? Some do, some don't. What do you mean some, some do? Some know, some do not know. Some know, some don't know. But um, people ask yes. uh, if they do know. And then they want to know more. And then they want to print more. And then, But so I, I just want to bring the concentration back into the art and me, that which is, is not to do with you know, where, who my Who's father, who, are, who, who, who my husband was, exactly. you know. My last question, Anuma. One day, many years down the line, how best do you wish to or want to be remembered? I want a very short answer. Um, I don't care. Because you know what? When you look at a painting, you see one thing. He's looking at that same painting and he sees something else. So similarly, different people, even the book, or even me, they will see different things. So, you know, it's not something I can control at all. This is what I came to do, and I've done it, and I, I feel very strongly about doing it the best way I can, and that I came for this purpose, um, and I share it with you. But how you receive it is your business. Anima, great 
great, great pleasure talking to you. Thank you Thank so you. much. It's been fun. I loved every moment. I loved every moment, Harris. And the, as yes, well. the shoe changes and the glass changes. <laughs> yes, so good luck to you and all the best. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To keep up with the past of Sri Lanka, you can subscribe to our channel here. To watch our latest videos, click here and here. Keep living it.